<laughs> Please welcome to my Laugh Lounge my friend Lori Kilmartin. <laughs> Lori. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Now, you know, you and I both got a lot in common. We yeah. are both comics. We're both single moms. Yeah. We both got teenage sons. Yeah. I know how it's going for me. How's it going for you? I, <laughs> mine is a couple bunch younger. Mine's 17 and a half. Uh -huh. And it's, I have that feeling of like my shift is almost over. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm excited and people always go, oh, well, you never stop being a mom. And I'm like, uh, watch me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Some people say I never started being a mom. Really? <laughs> well, just my son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I'm, no, I'm sending Jeffrey away to college. Is your son going to college? I told him, I go, listen, when you go to college, I'm going to start dating, just a heads up. Mm -hmm. And then a couple days ago, he goes, I don't know if I want to go to college, mom. And I was like, oh, just a reminder, I will be having sex with men in your bedroom. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so if you don't want to hear that, uh, live in a dorm. Uh, <laughs> several states away. I'm going to be loud. You <laughs> should be no closer to me than Missouri. No, I know. See, that didn't work with Jeffrey. He was like, <laughs> I'm coming back. Okay. <laughs> uh, what, what kind of man are you looking for? Okay, so I, here's the thing. I want to date guys my age. I mean, yeah. I'm in my 50s, too. Yes. And so here's the thing. I've been feeling it out a little bit on the apps, and... Divorced men in their 50s are not well. No, mm -mm. Right? Something mm -mm. is amiss mm -hmm. with this cohort. Yes. And I think I know why. Gener generation X, men of Gen X, are the last generation of American men to play high school sports without concussion protocols. Is that what it is? I think so. Yeah. They got hit in the head and sent back out on the field. <laughs> OK? Now they're grown up and they're on the loose, right? <laughs> Like, the, they're these horny, brain-damaged, man-sized, shaken babies, <laughs> DMing in all caps, right? They do DM in all they caps, do. They're always like, do you know Joe Rogan? No. <laughs> See a neurologist. <laughs> oh, my gosh, they are the same way yeah. in, in their 50s. But my, okay. Younger men, uh, do you go younger ever? No, because I'll traumatize them, taking out my double chin here. <laughs> That's I don't exactly. Them. How I feel, I feel like if I hooked up with a young guy, it would be the best night of my life and the worst night of his. Like, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we would both be uh, like texting our friends for different reasons the next day. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'd be like, I hooked up with a 28 year old and he'd be like, she had a C-section. <laughs> <laughs> Scar, pick me up. Oh my God, exactly. Like, I don't want to do that to another woman's son. I guess that's my thing. That's how I feel. <laughs> now, here's the thing, because you are making fun of the men, yeah. and you say that you don't think comedians, we don't make good girlfriends. I don't think we do. Yeah. I mean, I'm a comic, and if I'm dating you, uh, I will make fun of your penis on stage. <laughs> Sorry, that's my You're, art, Sherry. It's the art. It is the art. <laughs> and, if, and if a man complains, I'm like, I will add that to the joke. Here's what I do is I make men sign a total disclosure agreement. A total disclosure yes, agreement. Yes, I'm like, you sign here that I can describe your junk on Netflix. Uh, uh, and if they don't, I say, you get the heck out of my son's bedroom. <laughs> That's right, because you're going to be in there. This is a sacred space. This is a sacred space. You know what, Lori? Uh, OK, what kind of, like, uh, women do you admire the most? I think, like, right now, I, I love trans women. Yeah. Because I, I they get a lot of grief, and it drives me nuts. I feel like they're fresh troops uh, in the war against the patriarchy. Because, <laughs> uh -huh. number one, they're excited to be women. OK. I feel like, you know who's not excited to be a woman? This old cis bitch, OK? okay? <laughs> Over this, all I want to do is stop shaving my legs and die. Okay. That, uh, okay. At least trans women have enthusiasm. We need that energy. Plus, a lot of trans women, because they've lived in both worlds, they know stuff that we cis women don't know. Uh huh. Like they know how much we're supposed to get paid. You know what? That's true. That is true. Yep. That is very true. I I think that's. I think the reason a lot of guys don't want trans women in the women's bathroom is they're afraid that they're going to show us their old pay stubs. Right? <laughs> they're going to be like, hey, this is from 09. <laughs> <laughs> what? That 
That's what trans woman stands for, a salary transparency woman. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I did not even know that. <laughs> Look, I want to say, because I'm looking at you, I'm looking at me, we both had our breast reduction surgery. Yes. Okay, are you happy with your new girls? I, I wish they were smaller. Really? Uh, do you, are you happy with your size? Oh, girl, I love it. Oh, yeah, you look amazing. Yeah, I love it. So I had one breast that was way larger than the other. Okay. So when I would wear a shirt like with horizontal stripes, it was like an optical illusion, right? <laughs> People would have seizures and fall right in front of me, <laughs> which I enjoyed. But uh, uh -huh. but I, when I went to get them, I started as a G, and I I wanted to be a, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She goes why? <laughs> I was down in that alphabet. I was, uh -huh. uh, and I wanted to go to a B cup because okay. to me those are like the coziest little efficient breasts, right? They are. <laughs> In California, just in New York, we just had an earthquake, right? We did. If you're in an earthquake and you're a B cup, you can run right out of the building. You can. Okay? You can. If you're a D cup or larger, you got to put a bra on first. <laughs> and now a beam fell on your head and you're dead. It's a safety issue. It is a set. Lori Kilmartin, I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thanks for having me. Y'all gotta watch Lori's new special, Sis Woke Grease Slut, on Prime Video, Apple TV Plus, and YouTube. And for more info on Lori's comedy tour, walk, not run, no, run, not walk, <laughs> go to SherryShowTV.com. We're gonna have a good time.